Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the bookings detail for the user dashboard. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. Please consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And also you could check out some of the courses in the description below as one of them might help you become even a better Python Django developer. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and right now we could close up every other tab that we have over here and open up the views py user dashboard. Great. So now let's firstly pass in the login required and then create a new booking underscore detail view. And this one should take requests. And also I want you to take the booking ID, which we will use to actually filter and identify a particular booking objects that a user is trying to open now we need to filter booking by saying booking dot object dot get where the booking underscore id is equal to the booking underscore id and now we also need the user and the payment status so you could copy that from the last video and pretty much paste it over here and we are done so with this now you could create a new context so I could create a new context and pretty much pass in the booking. And over here also, I pass in the booking and then let's return a template. So you can pretty much copy this one and paste it down here and change this to the booking detail HTML. And we are done. Now I want you to open up the URLs PY and register a new URL for the booking detail. So down here, I will create a new part and this one should go to booking dash detail slash. Then we have to add in the parameter which exists in the view. So if you open up the view, you will see that booking ID is over here. Now this URL must have the booking ID in order for it to be able to know what booking ID that it should use to filter an order or rather to get an order. So now we can say views dot booking detail and also add a name to it. And the name that I want to give this one should be booking underscore detail, pretty much the same name as the view over here. So with all this out of the way now, you could copy this piece of code, open up your dashboard HTML. And over here where we have the view, which pretty much is this button here, we want to now add this new URL for it. So create a new Django URL and the app name is called user dashboard. I hope that is how I called it. Let me confirm that user dashboard here, user dashboard here. All right. And also what is the name of the, the view? It's called booking detail. So over here, we then need to have column booking detail and this URL needs a parameter. So always supply the parameter so you don't have an error. Without supplying the parameter, if you reload your page now, you should see, we will get this error that says, hey, you need to give this URL a booking ID for it to actually work. So to give it a booking ID over here, just say B dot booking, booking underscore ID. And when you get back here and reload your page, this should now be working as expected. But if you open this up now, we should see templates does not exist, but it's already working. Let's just create a new template here called booking detail HTML. And now I want you to hop back to the main template again. And I want you to open up booking detail HTML, grab everything that we we'll have here, get back to your own blank booking detail HTML and paste this. And then you could close up every other tab that we are not using right now. So the very first thing that you will have to do is import a couple of things over here to the top, which is pretty much the extendings for all this. So you could grab this and you could pretty much put it down here. It could be on one line, it could be a separate line. We'll still work it the same way, All right? So now that we have this, you can also add the sidebar and the end block. So let me add the end block real quick, end block content. All right, so with this out of the way now, if you get back here and reload this page, you can see it's showing this up. But let's add the sidebar so that everything will then be completed. There you go. So let's start changing up everything. Firstly, the booking ID over here should pretty much be booking 
dot booking underscore id and when you reload this page now you can see it's having the booking id if you want you can still add a hash over there to the to the back so that we get this now that is one step done the next thing will be to actually start populating every other information that we will be needing like the full name the hotel name the address and all that so let's get started with the full name this one will be booking dots then we could pretty much call the full name because that is what we called it in the model and i also want to add make add a title filter so that it will be uppercase michael jeremy and perform the same operation also for the for the payment status by saying booking dot payment underscore status and when you reload you should see paid you can also still add the title filter so that it's up it's make it an uppercase now without out of the way let's perform the same operation for the hotel so we say booking dot hotel dot name and you can now copy this and pretty much perform the same operation for the for the address for the email and also for the phone okay now let's change those up so this one here will be hotel dot address this one will be hotel dot email and the last one will be hotel dot mobile all right let's test this out to see what we have there you go see this is working well now for the checking dates check out date total days we already have all those fields in the model we just need to populate it so checking dates will pretty much be booking dot check underscore in underscore date and let's see there you go february 7th 2024 and you can also take this and pretty much override it with this and change this in to out and then you can see february 29th 2024 and also for the days perform the same operation or uh, this should now be booking dot total underscore days and we also need to do the same thing for adults so booking dot adults and also the same thing for children okay i think that is not called adults but instead it's called norm underscore adults norm underscore adults and also norm underscore children so norm underscore children okay so with all this now let's get down here and reload this now you can see three adults two children now you can change up the user's information which is the person that actually is booking the hotel so you could pretty much say booking the full name and perform the same operation for the email and also perform the same operation for the mobile number so this one should be phone this one should be email and let's see what we have there you go now let's do the same thing for the price and dates booked so for the price should pretty much be booking dot total or you could even change the price here to total it's up to you what you want to call it and also for the books it should be booking dot date which means the date that they booked the particular hotel room all right we are done with this side we don't have the invoice yet we'll create that later so hold on for now now for the other side of the of the section or the booking detail we have the rooms so you want to say booking dot room the all the accounts so that we can see then two rooms i believe all right there you go and now for this li over here you want to loop through all the rooms that we then have you could pretty much say for r in then booking dot room dot all so end for end for and right now when you reload this page you should then see two of these that is all we have so let's start changing up all the informations for these rooms. This one here will be r dot room underscore type dot type to give you the type of the room. See king and luxury. And also for the room number, it should pretty much be r dot room underscore number so that the user knows what room number they booked and also how much they paid for the room so over here it should be r dot 
room underscore type dot price then you can see that show up here so 40 bucks and also 30. all right guys so that is pretty much it for the video you can see now if you get back to the dashboard let me open up the sidebar the dashboard sidebar and for the dashboard you can now add a new url here i'm trying to use django url and I, I will pretty much call user underscore dashboard column dashboard so if you get down here reload this page you can now click on this to get back to the dashboard page hold on let me see what is going on reload this page are you sure i am in the right place so um dashboard sidebar should be this oh um let me change up this just to confirm that I am in the right place. There you go. I am in the right place. Oh, 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 my bad. I'm adding this to the class instead of the href. Hopefully you saw that before me. Now, if you get back here, reload this page, you can now get to the dashboard. And when you click on any of this, you can see their rooms and also their detail. So that is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. In the next one, we'll get started working with something new. Maybe the... I don't know, maybe the bookings to display all the bookings of the user over here. And after that, we'll continue with the notification and pretty much every other thing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. And hopefully, you enjoy this one and also learn something new. If you did, consider dropping a like and also a subscription as it really mean the world to me. Also, consider checking out some of the courses in the description below as one of them will help you become even a better Python Django developer. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then. Mad love. Peace out.